Hi, you guys. This is Black and Blue, and I don't know about you, but I'm ready to get into today's savings challenge video. Let's go. This is Black and Blue. Go ahead. What's the crime? An attempt to watch and not subscribe? Yep, that's a crime. Friends don't let friends watch and not subscribe. So, <laughs> come on, let's get into the video. <laughs> All right, we're doing a saving challenge video today and I'm so freaking excited to do this. I have not really touched this in so long. If you guys were watching my channel last year, this was a big thing I did on my channel last year. And this right here is full of my $2 bills. I still have yet to figure out what I'm doing with them as far as turning them in or what, but this is full of $2 bills and I love it. I, I feel like I'm collecting and I love collecting certain things. So I don't know what I'm going to do with it. I got old ones. I've got many, many new, new, new ones that are basically in the same order that they were, um, that they were made in. They were in sequential order. So a lot is going on in here, <laughs> but I'm super excited because this is, I should really bling this. I think I just scratched this up trying to slide it in here. We'll put it back on this side. Okay. So we have a saving challenge video today. Today is my saving challenge video where I do no challenges except my own. I only do my own saving challenges that I have in my bling shop and I'm super excited to do them. This is going to be the first time I do them all by myself because normally my sister was with me. And if you guys haven't checked out that video I did with my sister last week, go check that video out. I'm curious if you guys like that style of editing where I showed me and her our faces while we're sitting at this table and then in the corner and the down corner right like right here somewhere I had a box of our hands I thought it was kind of cool that style of editing and I'm thinking about incorporating that into all of my videos where you can see me you see my hands in the big screen but then you see a little me my face right here and you can kind of see my facial expressions when I'm talking let me know what you guys think about that idea I'm playing around with that idea but I'm super excited because I'm going to also be showing you guys my Christmas collection because I'm only doing my own saving challenges and that won't take very long. So we're going to do that as well as show you my Christmas collection that's being added into my shop. And if you're watching this video right now, run because it's live <laughs> in my shop down in my description box is blingedbye.com. And let me see. I'm like looking around to make sure I get everything that I want to say before we start. This right here I have out because I do have some $2 bills to add into this that I'm super excited to add in. I love it. And if you guys see any coins in there, I talked about those last year as well. These are my gold coins. I have some silver coins. That was fun. I do like to invest in gold coins. So there's a lot going on here. I do have a safe in my home and it's massive i have that video on my channel as well <laughs> if i link any of these videos down below then i'm really killing it but i always forget but i do have wait let me fix this okay i do have my safe in my home and it's huge massive no one's getting into it so don't try me <laughs> okay let me move this to the side actually let's go ahead no let me show you guys my collection first okay we'll get back to this all right so our Christmas collection consists of bling pens as well as one other item and there's different colors in that option item I'm about to show you. I will say that a good hint, I was going to give a hint on my Instagram, but I was like, no, no, no. I just want it to be a complete surprise. So I have a couple of my pens from last year's Christmas collection that I'm bringing back and then I have a new pen that's absolutely my number one favorite pen out of the whole collection and then I have my a revamped one from last year and a theme i have a set of pens that are a theme a christmas theme that i chose and if you guys were noticing my hoodie at all this is a hint <laughs> this is a hint for what my christmas theme is for my pens this year and let me show you guys this shirt is or this hoodie is so cool and if you guys see any of this white stuff i was just putting up my christmas tree today and it is a frosted a faux frosted tree so it's everywhere everywhere but look at this this hoodie is so cute. I love it. And then, and then just seeing that the, sorry, you're going to see my backdrop move because I'm readjusting because I keep on sliding it all over the place, but I love this hoodie. I'm living in it all winter. Now let's go ahead and get into my collection. I'm going to bring one out at a time and 
Let me know what you guys think down below. I'm dying to know because I worked really hard on this collection and I hope you guys love it. So let's start off with the pens I'm bringing back from last year. Let's start there. This one right here, my OG, <laughs> went through a couple of revamps last year and this is where we ended on our snowman. It is on the black ink gel pen and I used an opal white. So this is not a white white, this is an opal white with a baby blue aquamarine background. So cute with his little top hat. I love this. So cute. Okay, that's our first one for the year. <laughs> or for the holiday, I mean. And then let's go in with a revamp from last year, which is going to be our candy cane. So our candy cane last year came with a red stone and a clear AB as the white. Back then, I didn't have a really good white, and I was searching. I was searching high and low for an amazing white because I only used glass stones on my pens. I was not looking for plastic, resin, none of that. I wanted glass, glass, <laughs> and your girl found it. So this year, we have a candy cane in red and white stripes. I don't have stripes anywhere on my website, and I launched my site when I first, first, first launched my site. I omitted it with stripes. So to not have any stripes on my entire website, except for right now for my Christmas collection is kind of crazy, <laughs> kind of crazy. So we got candy cane, love, love the candy cane, love the swirl design. It's definitely one of my favorites since I did open my shop with it, of course. Now let's go into our next one. This is going to be another one that is brought back from last year. This is the Grinch. <laughs> I love this. This is so pretty. So I did an entire light green. It's called Periodot or something like that, that color. And I did the entire background. I did the red heart and then put a face on here. Now this isn't literally the Grinch. This is my take on that monster. <laughs> so what it's gonna be called in my store when you guys go check, I don't know, but you guys see where I was going with this, right? <laughs> okay, that's our third one. All right. That's it for the revamp and from what came from last year. That's it. Everything else is new this year. So let's get into what's new this year. I'm going to first show you guys because I have one more pen and then it's the, the collection, the theme. And first, let's just show you guys this one. This one's not going to lie, my favorite. This is my favorite. This is a plaid. It's got the black, the deep red, and the red. And it's... Oh, my friend just told me. Nixter Budges, if you guys don't know her, go check her out. Nixter Budges, I was talking to her, and she said that this is called Buffalo something. The type of plaid. Oh, I forgot. No, check. Buffalo check. I, thought, I believe that's what she said. So this has a whole name to it, the style. Alexa's over here talking. Alexa, stop. I love this. This is so pretty. And doing it this, doing this plaid, I did it in the wide I wanted wide sections. I did see that there were people online that made plaid designs, but those are really skinny, and so I made it my own. But that's that design, and I love that I could try different colors with the plaid, not just the red and black. But for the sake of this collection, red and black is where we're at. So, oh, it looks so pretty. Oh my gosh. Okay. Now let's get into our collection, and I'm gonna, the first pen I'm gonna show you is so funny. Look at this. Look at this. I'm going to let you look at it before I tell you what it is. Oh, all the bling is so freaking pretty to me. This is my favorite color stone, the clear AB. My favorite. You can see so many different colors in it. Okay, so this is going to be the Charlie Brown Christmas tree. <laughs> My take on it, of course. They have the little wood slab. It looks like this, but it's hard to do this on a pen in the way I needed to. So it's my version of the plank boards and then the tree with the little green leaves on it. And then the one little ornament and it's leaning to the side. So it's not straight up. Let's see, if, is it focusing? So it's not straight up, it's leaning. I think it's so funny. I love this. So. That is the first pen in our themed Christmas collection. Next up, I'm going to, yeah, let's go with, mm, 
Okay, the next two I'm going to show you in the not, it's part of my Christmas collection, but these two are not the Christmas style. Okay, let me grab them. Okay. Yeah, let me do one at a time. This right here, this is Snoopy <laughs> with his black collar. You see his little nose at the end and his little belly. So this is Snoopy on a baby blue background because when you look at Snoopy, they're always outside. They're always in the nice, pretty blue sky. So I put him on a baby blue background on the black ink joy pen. And then our non-Christmas Charlie Brown. His little curly cue in the middle cracks me up. I love this. So he's got his dark brown shoes on, his cute little legs, his black shorts, his infamous, famous shirt, and then his smile and his curly cue in the middle of his head. His head is so big. I love this. He's big too. If you guys look at my Christmas or my princess collection, the princesses are all pretty small, but I made him pretty big. I think he looks so freaking cute. Like what? Ah, I love this. Okay. Now the last two pens in my Christmas collection are definitely Christmas, Christmas versions of Snoopy and Charlie Brown. And we'll start with Snoopy. Snoopy is just hanging out in the dark blue sky. So pretty. And it's snowing and he's got his red collar for Christmas. Ah, I love it. You see his little nose. Oh my gosh. He is so freaking cute. And this blue is just giving. I love the way the sapphire blue looks. And I also put this on a black ink gel pen. And they're all on black ink gel pens. I didn't do any colored pens this year. Kept it. Kept it cute. <laughs> Kept it black and cute. Next up is Charlie Brown in his winter outfit, standing in the snow while it's snowing in this pretty beautiful blue sapphire sky. I'm in love. He's wearing his dark brown shoes with his royal blue pants or jeans. He was wearing blue jeans, but they're a darker blue with like shades of black streaks in them. But yeah, that's how they are in Charlie Brown Christmas story. But he's got his red coat on. And his little zipper and then his smile and he's got a brown hat the brown hat is so cute it's there and then it goes where you can see the bill keeps going to his hat it's like a baseball cap but not it's his winter hat this is so cute the fact that he's standing in the snow kills me and it's snowing like what like doo -doo -doo -doo. i'm just riding with charlie brown no big deal no big deal oh my god look at him uh, he's so cute i love this i don't know which one's my favorite out of all of them it's definitely going to be the plaid but i'm so proud of these ones i'm so proud of these okay i'm just trying to see what it looks like when i'm writing with it do, do, do. like someone's going to definitely know this is charlie brown if you're writing with this i've got a person on my pen okay <clears throat> let me know what you guys think about this collection i do have another item and i'm just going to show you i have a bunch of them but I'm just going to show you the different color options. So this is going to be my ornaments and they are customizable with your name, whatever you want written, Merry Christmas, whatever you want it to say, you know, baby's first Christmas, whatever you want on it. And then I do an ombre stone down. So I start out really close and then I start to spread them out as I go down and it looks so pretty. And if it's on your Christmas tree, the lights hit it so beautifully that's this and you can customize what you see on are the words on it you can choose a name anything you want this one they all come with this really pretty iridescent colored confetti inside and that's not easy putting inside this little hole but here we are we did it <laughs> and then we have this one is a light pink a b so pretty light pink ab it's just gorgeous i have no names on these ones because i wanted to just get the colors ready to show you guys but didn't have any names to put on them so order for your name now <laughs> then we have a sapphire blue so depending on what your color tree is what you have on your tree you can match that color with your ornaments or if you're like me and my daughter and my family we love to use ornaments we've had for years and years and years and none of them match they don't match they're from 
pinks, blues, purples, greens, orange, red, white. It, we have every color on our Christmas tree. It just looks fun and festive. We don't try to color code or anything like that, but if you do color code, I have just about every color. So just let me know in the note section if you don't see a color that you're wanting. Then we have, of course, Christmas green. A beautiful, beautiful emerald green. I love this. The emerald green is gorgeous. Green is actually my favorite color. <laughs> if you didn't know, green is actually my favorite color. I just love looking at them. The light hits them so beautifully. Now this right here looks like my Barbie. This is my Barbie pink color. If you look on my site, this is what I call Barbie pink. Unless I change the name because I didn't want to use the word Barbie. I don't remember. But it's really from one from one angle it looks pink and from another angle it looks kind of reddish but i'm going to show you what it looks like next to an actual red red this is red red and this is the other color <laughs> technically red ab this is so pretty but those are the colors i have super pretty so if you want to ornament customize with your name on it or your kids names on it just let me know and I will have them up in my shop. It's time to get to our savings challenges. Let me know what you guys think down below. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Am I missing one? Wait a minute. Two, four, six, seven, eight, nine. Am I missing one? Hold on. <laughs> Got it. Oh wait. Got it. I think I'm, oh my God, I think I'm missing one. Two, four, five. That's good. We have our snowman. The so three from there. And then this one. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Okay, if I'm missing one, which I feel like I am, I will just throw that image in one before I post the video. But I swear there might be another one. If I don't throw an image in, actually just go to my website and <laughs> go look at my website because if I am missing one, you guys will see it there. I'm trying to think really fast in my mind which one it could be but I don't remember. We got the Grinch, we have the snowman. All of those are good. Okay, yeah. I don't know, I don't think I'm remembering which one I could be missing. I did not do snowflakes this year, I thought about it, but I just didn't wanna do snowflakes. I did do snowflakes last year, so. White, blue, clear AB, yeah. I can't think of what I'm missing. Two, four, six, seven, eight, nine. All right. Hopefully I'm not missing anything, but I could have sworn I had ten, a 10 pen collection this year. Now, let's go ahead and get into my savings challenges. Let's go ahead and bring this puppy back. This top is really cool because when you pull on it, it doesn't come up, but when you push the top, it comes off. And when you want to lock it, just close it. So I think this is super cool. It came from Target in the cookie aisle. No, it really wasn't the cookie aisle. I think it's a cookie jar, but yeah so let me go ahead and grab our two dollar bills but first let me count and tell you guys just how much we are stuffing today Ooh, put this up here okay we are going to actually let me go ahead and use my fingertip moistener because it just makes it so much easier to count money i also have these in my shop the big version and the small version Twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, one. Twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, two. Twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, three. Twenty. Oh wait, what am I doing? I started looking away, and I just kept counting. <laughs> twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, one. Twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, two hundred. Twenty, forty, sixty, eighty, two eighty. There we go. Two eighty. Five ninety-five, three hundred, five ten, fifteen, twenty-five, thirty-five, forty-five, fifty-five, sixty-five, seventy-five, eighty-five, ninety-five. 400, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 200, $410. That's how much we're stuffing today. And I know my money looks crazy because I had it sitting. Yeah, crazy. I got it from the bank and left it in a weird position for too long. <laughs> so that's what we're stuffing today. And we already have our $2 jar here ready to go. So we are adding 2, 4, 6, 8, $10 to our $2 jar. I always love adding to this. Ooh, it is mighty heavy. But we added $2 to that. 
our ah, our envelope challenge and there's not much left to go i don't know if i'm gonna be able to finish up this video but i'm gonna try trust and believe i'm about to try what do we have left let me just pull them all out i don't think i have enough for this at all okay let's see we have one two three four five six seven envelopes left oh okay so this i am doing challenges from my shop so you guys will see this is a challenge in my shop right now i don't believe it's sold out just yet so let's try adding let's go and do 46. i need you know what i feel like i should do singles because if i want to try and get really far i don't i can't add, i can't round up so like 50. i can do that 20 40 5 50. Twenty, forty-five, fifty. Okay, let's do this. Okay, fifty's out. All right. Should I do singles? I have singles here. Maybe I should switch out some of these. Twenty singles. Should that be enough? Probably not. Hold on a second. Let me get some singles. Okay, so I got some singles, and let's see just how many I got. Let's do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20. Let's see how 20, how far 20 gets us. I'm just going to take a 20 out. So, let's go ahead. Let's see. Let's do, we did 50 already. So, let's go ahead and go to the, start from the beginning. 46. 20, 40, 5, 46. Oh my god, are we gonna finish this? I wasn't expecting to, but now I'm like gung ho trying to. 46, 47, 20, 40, 5, 46, 47. How freaking awesome would this be? If I finish this, I'm naming this video, finishing my 52 week challenge, 52 envelope challenge. There we go. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> 48, 20, 40. I'm looking for like the worst bills to fold because I'm not huge into folding my money, but I, I'm doing it now. Okay, 45. 46, 47, 48. Oh my God, I'm so close. I am so close. Even if I don't have money for my other challenges, <laughs> I'm doing it. 49, 20. Oh my God, I don't think I'm gonna have enough. 40, five, get a five. They're all so nice. Do what I gotta do. <laughs> 45, 46, 47, 48, 49. I love these envelopes because they are so sturdy. The pink in my shop are so thick and nice. I love them. They're thicker than the clear ones. The clear ones aren't as thick as the pink. 49, 51. Oh no. 40. Oh my God. I have a 20 left. 40, 5, 51. Oh my gosh. Oh, oh my gosh. I am wait. I am so excited on the inside. Okay, let's see if we can do it. I think I can with these. Okay. 25, 35, 45, 50. This is all I have left. 51, 52. Oh my gosh. We did it. We did it. I got to check in here to make sure I really grabbed all of the unfinished ones. Because if not... We did not finish because I don't think I could do much more in here. Okay. Oops, I actually just. Okay. There we go. All right, let's see. Did I do them all? Oh my gosh. Oh, thank God. Okay, they're all stuffed. Ends with 45. Yes, 46, 
47. 47. 48, 49, 50, 51, 52. Oh my gosh. And we're done. Yes. Oh my God. All right, you guys. I am going to be unstuffing this. Oh, I'm so excited. Look at it. I don't know what I want my thumbnail picture to be now, though. Oh my gosh, it's done. I am so excited because I haven't been stuffing my sinking funds like I normally, normally used to. Instead, I'm using my saving challenges to stuff my sinking funds, which means now that I finish this, I get to go ahead and stuff this in my sinking funds and I cannot wait. Oh, my envelopes deserve it. They've been so ignored. So we're done with that. I'm gonna leave that right here so we can still see it because it's super cute. And then let's see what we can do in here. This is going to be my saving challenges. They're also in my shop. Very, very affordable and super cute. Now, what I like to do with these challenges, I like to use pens for my shop. And these are my bling pens and the color tips signify what color as well as the stones that I'm going to be coloring in. I love using my pens. So let's go ahead and get into it. All right. So I'm going to zoom in. There we go. And let's use green. I haven't used green yet on here. All right, we're stuffing five in here. Perfect. And then this one, Dripping Diamonds. We're gonna go ahead and use pink. And that's another five. These are so cute. You can make them amounts, whatever you want. And I made mine, most of mine are $5 down here at the bottom. And let's go with a baby blue. All right, another five. Falling sprinkles. Ooh, which one do I wanna do here? Let's go with orange. Orange is fun to color with. Let's do this one down here. And I love that these don't bleed through at all. And this one is $5. Ooh, our lucky dice challenge. And all of these challenges are all about coloring, so. There's no games or anything like that. It's just really, if you love coloring and you have fun coloring, this challenge is for you. <laughs> Actually, all of these challenges are for you. And here I'm just coloring in the circles. Right, our raindrops. I'm gonna use yellow. And this is worth five dollars as well.
Let's do two raindrops. Why not? Let's do purple. Alright, we're going to add $10 to this. One, two, three, four, five, six, oh, nope, ten. Five and five singles. Next up we have, let's see. This one is worth five each, and let's go back to orange. All right, this one is worth $5. Now I have a five, a 10, and a 10. Oh my gosh, the unicorn poop is so funny. Let's see what we have. We have five, 10, 15 left. So I can do a five and a 10. We'll do this one. And let's go ahead and grab our dark purple and color in some money. <laughs> Okay, this is definitely giving Joker vibes, <laughs> purple and green. Okay, that's five. And I'm gonna add these extra $2 in here just because I don't have any single challenges with single numbers, so why not? I'm not used to having singles anyways. I love how thick my envelopes are. Okay, let's do a unicorn poop and I wanna do one in yellow. All right, let me zoom out. Now we're adding our last $10 in this challenge, which I'm excited, that was fun. There's only one of my challenges we didn't get to, and that's totally okay. That was my nail challenge, but that was fun. I love this, okay, so. Let me know down below what you guys think. Let me know if you checked out my collection. If you guys click the link in the first comment as well as my description box, it should be the link to my site. So make sure you guys check that out. Let me know which one was your guys' favorite out of all of them. I'm dying to know. Okay. I'll catch you guys in the next video. I'm out of here. Bye.